Hi, good morning. We're here with Will Voisey from Synergy Car Leasing. How are you doing, Will? Very well, thank you, Mike. Yourself? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you very much. Now, if you could start us off and tell us a little bit about who you are, what it is that you do and how long you've been doing it for, please. Yeah, of course. Uh, my name is Will Voisey. I'm the General Sales Manager at Synergy Car Leasing, uh, based in, in Harrogate. Uh, I've been with the business for around 10 years now um, in, in my current role and, and, and guys in, in kind of as we evolve for the last six years or, or so. Awesome. So the business, it started in 2006, is that right? When Correct. I, yeah, yeah, it was founded in 2006 uh, by Paul Parkinson, um, who's kind of recently kind of moved into an executive chair position within the business and uh, yeah, left me to, to kind of carry on for him. <laughs> Awesome. Fully responsible. So what happened there recently? Is it a buyout? That's yeah. So, I mean, Paul's grown the business from him, himself and a phone book uh, back in 2006 to kind of get the business out there and, and kind of enter the world of vehicle leasing at, at that point. And he's grown it over uh, a period of time. Uh, just just before COVID struck, um, he sold a percentage share of the business to our current owners, uh, Newable, who are based, uh, based in London. And then 1st of October, they took uh, the remaining shares from Paul. So, yeah, new uh, new bosses. Awesome. So you've had 10 years in the business. What makes you guys stand out from uh, the rest? Because it's quite a competitive sector, isn't it? The sector is competitive. And, and year on year, I think the competition that are, um, that are out there with us, everybody improves. Um, and you've just got to be able to be agile within within the industry uh, i think for where we really do stand out is we truly do put customers at the center of what we do and we care about what we do and we we kind of look at far more of a consultative approach to kind of understanding what people are looking for in the next vehicle whether it be a car or a van or the evolution of electric vehicles um salary sacrifice schemes there's, there's all sorts um and, and a lot of customers that we speak to aren't aware of all the changes in the street in the industry and how that could benefit them so i think we will spend the time we've got an experienced team who can kind of help people understand what works best for them uh, it's quite nice because we're not brand specific we can sell any brand or um or type of vehicle whether it be a kind of a, a small city car to a pickup truck or a, a van or a supercar we, we can do all of all of this so um the idea is we truly want to find the right solution for somebody and not actually kind of push somebody down a certain channel because that's who we work for. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think for us kind of making sure we do right for our customers and getting that repeat business, that referral business is, is kind of key to what we do and where we, we definitely stand out. Great stuff. So 10 years or so, what's that business journey been like? If you could describe it in a couple of words. Um, <laughs> Or one word an, an evolution it really like from going yeah. from a, a team with three of us in the in the office at the other side of Harrogate when we started to a sales team of kind of 18 account managers now um and kind of never a straightforward journey so yeah. I, I would call it a roller coaster uh, whenever you think you're on the right track another curveball comes in whether it's kind of <laughs> um semiconductor chips that you can't get hold of or kind of tax amounts changing company car taxes so it's it's been a a journey with a few bumps and you've got to, one of paul's kind of key things he always talked about was being resilient uh and and for me being resilient along the journey whilst you grow has been been a real key thing for me uh but i do think this is the future of what people um are looking at in terms of kind of obtaining the next vehicle people yeah. get used to that monthly outlay uh, a lot of people are doing things online and almost that old the old mentality of going into a dealership to sit and, and haggle on a price is gone we, we do all of that for people um so yeah it's it's been a a long kind of up and down journey but it'll keep it'll keep going um yeah it keeps changing yeah so i, I mean i was going to ask there about the future you mentioned about what people are, are wanting so yeah. as far as you can tell what does the future look like what challenges do you foresee or improvements that you're going to be making um you i think in terms of of challenges you just always got to be at the kind of be there with the technology because technology will continue to advance uh, and you've got to be agile to kind of 
be able to offer new products. So you, you see an evolution of uh, Chinese manufacturers at the moment coming into the marketplace. And you wind the clock back four or five years ago, when we were selling Audi, BMW, Mercedes, Land Rover. Yeah. If you look to our suite of kind of brands that we work with now, there are names that a lot of our customers will have never heard for who are starting to kind of enter the marketplace. So I think the evolution of, of electricity uh, and, and the electric vehicles is, is going to be a, something to get used to. And then new products and, and kind of customer de demand, insurance, used vehicles, um, then AI will come into this car sharing. You, you don't know what's next. Um, driverless cars. When are we gonna have driverless cars? <laughs> yeah, it'll happen. <laughs> yeah. Do you have an idea of how long it will be? Uh, who knows? Uh, you kind of keep an eye on Tesla and what they're doing. Yeah. And I, I think the, the the big thing at the moment, and I think what we're going to see in the short term is um, improvements. And, and you look at technology in general. And you look at TV and how quickly that kind of yeah. kind of changes with tech it's going to happen with cars so the cost of batteries will will reduce because people will find a better way there'll be different types of solid state battery um so i think the actual cost of the vehicles will will drop whilst the tech and the range and the charging time and the actual infrastructure to be able to charge cars uh improves um but yeah you just don't know what's next uh but this is quite nice in being an online type business and, and having the backing behind us as, and the team we've got, mm -hmm. we're, we're ready to change and, and be there to, to do it. And there, there are good people in our industry that are all doing the same thing. And, but it's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's a good industry to be in. Good stuff. Um, I guess, yeah, in terms of your advantage, you can offer whatever is out there that if yep. you have the connections and the relationships and whatever the customer wants, you can go and get it for them rather than. Yeah, exactly that. And I think because we've been established for so long and we work so hard in our, um, kind of looking at our, our FIFA, we work as an independent customer feedback working with FIFA. I think people know we care and care about what we do. Uh, and these people that might have never considered leasing a car and they're doing a re research and a, wide marketplace they can see that we're the right people to kind of speak to and and, and do that uh do that with so i think it does help us kind of being well established and uh and being known for, for doing the job right and helping people excellent so moving on to yourself and yeah uh all that you've learned from phil and the the team around you yeah uh it's lesson you've learned so Paul so from the, still there. I mean, yeah, Paul. yeah, Phil is my new boss. <laughs> <laughs> Go back uh, on that, Paul. Uh, Paul, Paul and the team and, and your experience. Yeah, as a um, as a leader and and kind of Paul in in our local areas is well known. And I know a lot of people who watch this will probably know of of Paul. Uh, he's he's been a great person to learn from. Uh, he is probably the most driven person I've seen and met in, in my kind of short-ish career uh, because I've been here a long time. But actually, if he has a goal, he kind of works through it. And he knows it's not straightforward, which I said before. You have to dig in. You have to work hard. You have to be resilient. You'll make a few mistakes. Um, and you've just got to, to, to really, really care about it. And I think that's probably the biggest thing. I'm, I've known to have a thick skin um, and nothing's ever personal. And you've just got to really, really... Uh, you've, also, you've also got to love what you do yeah uh, and if and and i even though this isn't my business i would treat it as my own business because i i kind of care about the right result and and that's that's whether the business is performing or we're doing the job right for customers uh, and i think that's really what i've learned from him to i'm a different person now 10 years on to what i was when i when i started uh, i think for the better excellent and how do you utilize that uh, experience with your team uh, I'm a different character to, to Paul, but I, I kind of, I want our team to be part of the journey. Um, so I really kind of, I want them to enjoy and, and kind of feel a sense of um, kind of pride in, in what they do. Uh, and, and I think they do. We've got a good retention of, of, of a core team. And, and people that kind of live and breathe what we what we are uh, but I want I don't want it to be a regimented kind of head down no conversation we've got to kind of help each other and we we all do if someone's not here someone else will pick up the work and we all work yeah. as a 
uh, as a collaborative to kind of get the best result. There's, there's no old school salespeople where one person will sit in the corner and try and steal everybody else's business. We, <laughs> we really we really work hard together to uh, to kind of move forwards uh, as one. And every morning we have a meeting and it, it doesn't last long. Mm-hmm. But it's just to talk about kind of opportunities or offers that we've seen the day before. Kind of you might get a customer coming wanting some thinking they want something but we can say to them look consider this this is great value it's a it's a it, yeah. it's a car you might have never heard of uh, but this kind of ticks all the boxes and, and we share that um because we all want each other to do well awesome. uh, and i think that's something that I've, I've taken from paul if we are all uh what would he say if the wheel fell off the car he would want everybody to to club in and, and kind of get the wheel back, back on, on and drive you yeah. forwards and, and, <laughs> and yeah i take that um and I, I, I kind of, it's a team, a team yeah. effort. It's, That's it. A lot of businesses around this kind of bigger, bigger picture, of fundamental sort of human principles of working together. So what inspires you to do what you do kind of underneath that? What what do you use for inspiration? Is it the customers? Is it a team? Is it uh, all of the above? Anything you read, listen to? Um, the, for, for me, I, I look at what, Paul achieved and, and where he's got to and where he's he's kind of kind of worked the business from nothing to be able to hopefully yeah. kind of live a comfortable life moving in forwards and I, I think ultimately you come to work um to better yourself uh in personally but also financially and live a better life for your for your family um but actually I I get inspired by you get a sense of satisfaction out of knowing you've done a good job uh, and knowing that customers want to come back to you and they can pick up the phone for help or advice um, and and kind of get let that filter throughout the uh, throughout the business. Uh, it's nice to be recognised in our industry. So yesterday we were in we we're in London at the Leasing Broker Federation Awards uh, and we won Best Medium Broker in the UK. Well <laughs> uh, and we, we were highly commended for our customer service as well. And we've we've kind of that isn't a one off. We've we've kind of received similar awards um, over a number of years now. But it's nice to to be there with, for me, people who've had these businesses a long, long time. I'm the new boy on the block, I suppose, at, at these uh, at these yeah, dues. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's good to see that recognition. And actually, you can come away feeling proud of, of the hard work you put in every day. Excellent. Brilliant. Love that. Thank you for sharing. So lastly, in terms of any latest news around what you're up to, or even if it's simply sharing the website so we know where we can get a good deal on a car, feel free yeah. at this point. Give Love that. Look. Yeah. Um, synergycarleasing.co.uk is our yeah. is our main website. Uh, you'd see on there for all personal offers, business offers, uh, guides to leasing. So we talk about kind of benefit kind, company car tax, salary sacrifice. But for us internally, there's a lot of work going on in, in developing the, the website behind the scenes. Kind of cosmetically, it won't look hugely different, but we're trying to get more content on there to, to help people understand what they do. And what we're really, really trying to do is, is get, kind of get ourselves out there into the kind of, the local business market to be able to help people uh, manage their fleets uh, effectively and, and see savings. So we, we, we're seeing experience at the moment um, where we'll be able to look at what people have, kind of put some electric vehicles into a fleet so people can save on the company car tax, help them manage their commercial vehicles. It's a big thing. We're synergy car leasing and people yeah. don't always realise we, we can help with vans as well. Uh, so we, we're, we're putting a lot of work into that. Uh, because now it's it's a new era for us. Uh, we don't want to sit still and we want to be able to kind of move forwards. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd love for people to visit our website and, and I'd love to be able to help people out. Excellent. Thanks, Will. It's been an absolute pleasure talking with you. I appreciate you, you sharing all that you have. Thank you.